everyone welcome back to my channel Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cute cat booty you could either it could be a coaster it could you could sew a couple of them together and maybe put some catnip in it and maybe a little string on it and play with it with supervising your cat that is or you could it could be cute little applique so what I have here is I have used two different colors of um, yarn so just a pink and a white yarn they're both um, a four worsted weight yarn and you can use whatever you have and um, this one for this size I used a five millimeter hook which is what you're going to see today and for this size oh sorry for this size I used a five and a half millimeter hook which is what you're going to see today and for this size I used a five millimeter hook so continue watching to learn how to make this really cute cat booty coaster First off, what I'm going to do is I am going to make a magic ring and I'm going to make a double magic ring because I don't want it to come undone. But if you don't know how to ma make a magic ring, you can watch my video on that or you can just chain two and work in the second chain from the hook, either one. So I'm going to make, I'm going to chain one first of all, then I'm going to make eight half double crochets in the magic ring. If you like what you're seeing, guys, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. Thanks a lot, everybody. Oh, and by the way, I'm using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook here, and I'm using pink yarn and some white yarn, but you can use whatever colors that you want, and you just need two different colors. So now I'm going to tighten my magic ring. And then I'm just going to slip stitch to the first stitch that I made. So let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot of times that very first one's a little tight, so it's a, make sure you don't miss that one. Good and tight. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this yarn. And then I'm going to join my white yarn. So I'm going to just pull my white yarn through, and I'll probably tie that at the back, just by the way. And after this, I'm going to be working in the round. So you're going to chain one, and then you're just going to half double crochet. You're going to do two half double crochets per stitch in the previous round. And you might want to use a stitch marker here too, just by the way, so you can mark your first one. So just two half double crochets, in each of the half double crochets you made before and then round two will have a total of 16 half double crochets. number three we're back where we started you're going to do one half double crochet in the first stitch so I'm going to go ahead and mark this too now so marking my first stitch now and then you're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch and you're going to carry that pattern all the way around and then on this row you should have 24 total half double crochets All right, so that was the end of row three. So now row four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one half double crochet in the first two stitches and we're gonna mark the first one. So there's one and this is the second stitch in this round. Mine's curling a little bit. Unfortunately, I've made mine too tight. So loosen up a little bit. And then you're gonna do two half double crochets 
in the next stitch and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around and on this row you will have 32 total stitches. Alright, so that's the end of our gosh, sorry, of our fourth row here. So our next row, what we're gonna do is we're going to do, and this is gonna be row five, so we're going to do one half double crochet in the first three stitches. So here's the first one and I'm marking it. And then you're going to do two half double crochets in the next. And this row will have a total of 40 stitches. Alright guys, so that was the end of round four. So the next round, round five, what we're gonna do, and we'll mark our stitches again, is we're gonna do one half double crochet in the first stitch, and this is the round where we're gonna make our feet and tail, by the way. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then we're gonna do a single crochet in the next stitch. So the third stitch down, you're gonna do a single crochet, and then the next stitch you're going to do two triple crochets so there's one triple and then the next stitch after that you're going to do one triple crochet If you don't know how to do a triple crochet, I'll have the link in my description. And then the stitch after that, you're going to do a single crochet in that next stitch. Then you're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, two. So that will be a total of three single crochets in a row. And then you have your first little leg here. And in the next stitch, you're going to do two triple crochets. Alright, so you're going to do two triple crochets in one stitch, one triple crochet in the next stitch. And a stitch after that, you're going to do a single crochet in that stitch. And then the stitch after you do your single crochet is going to be one half double crochet in that stitch, then one half double crochet in the next stitch, and the stitch after that you're going to do two half double crochets. And then till you get to the middle now you're going to follow the pattern of one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, oops, Four, and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. So there's one, two. And then you're just going to repeat that. So one half double crochet in the next four stitches. And then two half double crochets in the next stitch.
All right, so I think we'll do a half double crochet in the next stitch, one in the next stitch, and now we're going to do some chain stitches. So I'm going to chain 15. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, turn and do single crochets all the way down my chain here. So that should be about 14. This other one I did 10, and then I was like, eh, I think the tail needs to be longer than this. Don't you guys think so? So this time I'm doing 15. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a half double crochet in the same stitch that I did the other one in, just so it doesn't leave a little hole there. And so I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next four stitches, just going around again. And then two half double crochets in the next stitch. And then I'm going to continue that around until I get to my stitch marker. And then when I get to the stitch right next to my stitch marker, I'm just going to do one single crochet. And then the place that the stitch marker is at, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to tie off my yarn and then weave in all my ends guys. So that is it. So I like the longer tail. I think that looks super super cute with the longer tail there. So guys here this one I made with a five and a half millimeter and this one I made with the five millimeter crochet hook so you can see the size difference here so you can make it either way you want to so if you want a little bit bigger just go up a hook size and if you want a little bit smaller just go down the hook size and follow the same exact pattern and um, I'm using just a worsted weight four yarn here with this so you can just use a worsted weight four yarn here and again this one I use my five millimeter hook or five and a half millimeter hook and this one I use my five millimeter hook. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did please subscribe to my channel and um, like this video, make a comment and happy hooking everybody.